All right, hi guys, Ryan back again. So out here in my tractor building today, I wanted to show you all something. Everybody says in the diesel industry that diesel engines do not have a spark plug, and that is the case 99.9% .9 of the time. Um, but I am here to prove that myth wrong today. So about four tractors out of Nevada that we brought back. Um, I got back into this because my wife wasn't aggravated enough at me, so I figured I needed to add to that. <laughs> and add some more problems around here. So I ended up purchasing a Farmall Super MD tractor. It has the International D264 engine. It's a 1953. So back in the early, you know, the 40s and early 50s, diesel started getting more prevalent, but the issue was starting them, especially in cold weather. So International solution was to build basically a hybrid engine. So on the right side of the engine here, we have a little carburetor. You have a distributor coil and four spark plugs. So we'll go around the other side of the tractor, which is the diesel side of the tractor. And over here you have injection pump, four injectors, uh, fuel filters, and a fuel water separator. And this valve or cross shaft here is kind of what does all the magic. So essentially you would start this tractor up on gas on the other side. The carburetor is preset. It doesn't have a throttle or anything. So it just starts up, warms up. And then what you would do when you started, you'd have this lever all the way forward. And there's a rod that goes through the block here. And it actually has, uh, there's like little pre-combustion chambers in a different, there's a, a butterfly valve in the intake manifold, so it sets it up for gas. After you start it, warm it up, you pull this rod back, and at that time it switches, it, it closes that butterfly valve, cuts off the gas supply, and goes ahead and, and switch and engages the injection pump here, basically, or, or starts fueling on the injection side. So and then, and then you're running on diesel. So then when you're done at the end of the day, uh, you to cool the tractor down, they say to go ahead and run it, throttle down, let it run on gas for a couple of minutes to cool it down and then shut it off. So a uh, pretty interesting, there's not a lot of these out there. Uh, I think they only made like 5,200 of them of, this, of the, the Super MDs. They made the M, the earlier model and a diesel as well, which had pretty much the same engine. Uh, but yeah, so like I said, uh, there are I don't know if there's any other ones out there, but uh, this engine does, is a diesel engine that has spark plugs and a carburetor. So pretty interesting. So also at the same auction, I ended up with a, a John Deere Model 70. So this is a 53, this is a 55. This is also a diesel. And what John Deere's solution was at the time, instead of putting spark plugs and a carburetor on a diesel engine, was to build this little bitty V4 pony engine. So this started on a, you know, it was a six volt starter, start this up. It actually, the coolant runs through the big engine. So you'd start this up, it would warm the tractor up. There's a little decompression lever here, which I'll explain. This is the second one of these I've owned. I had one before I met Sophia and I sold it to, to bring here from, here, here from China. So I don't know if it was a good deal or not. Maybe I should have kept the tractor, but anyways. So you fire it, this is the starter engagement for this little engine. It has like a little transmission and clutch and everything here. So once you're warmed up, you pull this back and it pulls that decompression lever back and decompresses the engine a little bit. And at the same time, it kicks your starter gear out and it turns the engine over. So after it starts hitting, you push it back like halfway so you're not on full compression yet. And once it starts up all the way, push it all the way. Tractor started and then you go ahead and shut the little engine off. These are getting harder to find parts for. They're really expensive when, they're, when there's issues with them these days. They do make a, an electric conversion for these or I could probably build one. So, but the engine's free on this. But uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet. If I'm gonna try to get it running or, part, or part it out, it's probably worth more than parts than, than putting them back together. So uh, that's pretty much all I have today, guys. Like I said, two 1950s uh, diesel engines here when they were kind of becoming more prevalent and two different methods of trying to start them easily. So kind of interesting stuff. So uh, 
if you're new to the channel, please uh, please subscribe, hit the bell for the updates, and uh, you know we're we're I've kind of got back into this stuff and kind of sharing out with people because it's it's kind of a dying thing, which is unfortunate. So I kind of wanted to teach my two little boys about this stuff and all that. So, but yeah, uh, stay tuned in the future. Be a little bit more of this, and and of course all of our newer stuff, all the emissions related electronic stuff. Uh, so keep an eye out for that stuff as well.